Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here at Money Thumper. So as you can see, we're going to be starting flatbed build at the truck up and running again. I just got some uh, square stock, inch and a half by inch and a half by one eight. So I'm just trying to see what it's going to look like, the height I want, because I'm doing a flat, true flatbed. I'm not doing anything like with the wheel wells. So that means I'm going to need a bit high off the, off the tires. Probably going to need uh, about a four inch lift for the frame itself, because when the weight sits on it, I don't want it going too close to the tires. But yeah, this is what we're at here today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I got this all rigged up. This is the miter saw. Got the budget chop saw converted over. Plasma cutter for backup. So I think we're gonna have some fun. But yeah, she's now running. And it's running like a champ again with the new fuel pump. So now it's just a matter of getting this rigged up. So I think I got some ideas. I'm gonna keep the box pretty much close to six feet wide and close to seven feet long. I might chop off an inch or so off each one, but that's about it. All right, let's do it. Let's get her done. You can see I just got some square stock welded on temporarily. I am going to fully bead this in here now and get it all pretty looking. But it sits on the truck nice and square. Not really sitting on the garage flush, but <laughs> is what it is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead now. I've got some slots cut out of the, the square stock. So you can kind of see, you just cut it with the plasma cutter. It's just enough to get a wrench in there. Just nut and bolt type of thing. A few more to do, and then i got to fully bead it. As you can see, it's uh, not fully welded yet, although the MIG is certainly welding pretty nicely, that is for sure. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this all ready and mocked up the way I want it, and then I'm gonna bolt it right to the truck, and then I can run my cross members. here at the ranger just give you guys an update i am pretty happy with how this is starting to turn out so i'm gonna go ahead get all my ribs nice and even weld them in place and uh yeah i'm happy with my little mounting system it's gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt to take it apart if i have to take it off well it's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt I might have to take a few boards off <laughs> but for how it is how it's sitting i am quite happy i'm gonna go ahead now weld these ribs in they're six foot wide so I'm basically keeping the truck about six foot wide on the rear. And some people chop it, they might want it a narrower. I ha I'm planning on hauling bikes and stuff with this. So if I can get a little bit extra width, I'm gonna be happy. I'm not going bushwhacking through tight trails or anything. So the tightest trail this is gonna go on is probably a dirt road. <laughs> All right guys, let's go ahead now. I'm gonna tack, tack weld some ribs in place. And um, yeah, we're getting her done. on the old flatbed i got her all welded up i haven't drank too many beers so well should be still half decent They're not too bad so right now you can see 
I got some two by sixes and some, I got some angle. I'm gonna mock up the front piece and then the back piece and then the sides. And then I got some nice two by 10 over there that's gonna go for the main bed itself, like the main boards. But all I got is this inch and a half. This is a three by three by 316. I would've went one, one eighth, but they didn't have it. They only can't stock it in 316. So yeah, I'm gonna fit it now. Showing you what you guys are, showing you guys what I'm up to here. And expect this to be well in place here now in a second. Okay, you can see my little mock up here. I got two two by sixes. Clamp them in place. Got the front kind of done. Needs more welding. But I'm doing the same on the back. And then we're gonna cap the ends. Pretty easy, eh? Hey guys, we're back in the shed here at Muddy Thumper. I got the truck pulled in the garage here. I'm just welding on some horns. This is going to eventually going to be my little back rack, so as you guys can see. Um, the cool thing about building something like this, I can do whatever I want. If I like it, it's getting done. <laughs> so some people they kind of have to match like the the box or the bed matching like the truck itself. As you can see, I got a little bit of overhang, but guess what? My tires still stick out further. <laughs> So yeah, I'm putting on some horns here now, and we're going to make up a little back rack. So I'm just kind of roughly going to the window height, and then I'm going to go up above with some angle. We're making some progress once this is all dry, because the truck was sitting outside and it rained. I can primer everything, and eventually get some wood on here. But yeah, I am happy. Got some decent welds going on, so she should hold together nicely. And I got to uh, put a few more welds in. Some stitch stitch welding should be fine. Not everything needs to be fully welded. But I'll put a bit more on it anyways. In the main structural areas anyways. Yeah guys, okay. I'm just going to keep welding up some horns here now. And this is all literally just inch and a half. Eventually I'm going to cap on some pieces here. And they're going to be like my tie down points. So we are making progress, eh? Hey guys, so she's starting to shape up. I am not done with it. I gotta make up a tailpiece here now, and I gotta re bed line my sidewalls. But pretty happy, eh? What do you guys think? Kinda cool? Don't mind me backing into things. <laughs> hey guys, so thanks for watching here at Money Thumper. So, this is part one of the flatbed build. I'm not finished with it, as you guys can see. But if you like this, feel free to drop a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in part two. See what else we can get up to. Alright guys, see you later.